Today, I want to talk about a simple example about fold R from the function language of Haskell. So fold R itself is a function that takes in three parameters. The first parameter is a function of this type, f. This f is a function that takes in two parameters and it returns a, parameter, uh, a value of type b. And the second parameter for fold R is a, a type B, and the third one is a list of A. And the result at the end is going to have a type of B. So basically, fold R is, does is like uh, it applies the function f um, at every element of this A and accumulate the result to B. And this b, we this b, the parameter b here is usually what we call the initial value. Uh, the fold R definition would look like this: f init empty array would just give us empty uh, uh, init value. And if fold R is um not empty value, uh, this we would call the function f on the first element of x and then recursively call our fold r f on the fold r init rest of the rest of the sorry fold r f init access so this might be kind of confusing right now, but um, we might just look at the very simple example called length list. Before length list is defined using recursive calls, and it would have a definition of this. Length list, empty array would give us zero. And then list of x s is one plus this list access so we can actually uh, do this function by applying the fold r on it so this this can be defined using fold r like this fold r f this is f and zero initial value is zero and Playing on the list. So this is A, this is B, and this is our F. So we need to think about what F needs to do to calculate the length. So basically, the first parameter here is going to be an, uh, an element from the list L. Uh, but in this case, we don't really care about the list element so we just say we don't care about it and the second element is like the cum accumulated value which is a length and we did this a one plus length so length at first would be zero and it would be one two three calculated at, at the end so if we um, expand definition for uh, fold r it would look like this x2 fx3 da 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 f x n and z da, da. this z is the initial value which is zero x n whatever we don't care this would give us one this would give us uh then of the list minus three minus two actually this would give us dense minus one and this would give us dense 